So, um, uh, hi everybody, I'm Sam Clements, this is JD. Um, it's uh, with great pleasure that I stand before you today to announce the Wi-Fi Awards organization. Um, so the Wi-Fi Awards organization is an organization that uh, we are starting to recognize individuals in the community um, who do great and wonderful things for us. Uh, it's an organization uh, with awards um, by the community and for the community. Uh, to that end, JD. So the real key there is the uh, by the community. Uh, in, in the past, as we know, um, w there's been one award for one person given away. And what we're doing now is we're making certain that this is something that we can all participate in, uh, that we can all um, uh, be a part of. So as we look through the company awards uh, first, uh, we've got a small company and a large company because obviously there's different budgets in play there and, and we, we wanna ensure that, uh, that there, there's an opportunity there. Uh, so when you think, begin thinking about this, um, this process is gonna go, uh, go forward over the next year. When you begin thinking about this, think back as examples for 2018 and the things that kind of came out in 2018 that have, have rev revolutionized your job, made your job easier, changed your workflow a little bit. So uh, after company awards, we're going to go to uh, product awards. So this may be an individual product that a company has, has put out uh, that, again, is all, it's all about how it, how it affects and changes our jobs. Uh, innovation of the year may be something that uh, doesn't necessarily become a product, but maybe it's a standard, maybe it's uh, you know, something that, that you may not purchase but still affects your, your job on a daily basis. And then we're gonna talk about the people, um, the individuals. So rookie of the year, if we, if we, you know, we were talking about Frené just a, a, a short uh, bit ago, uh, and how he went from being a customer to being a, uh, someone who's very impactful in the industry. And when you think about it, there was a, there was a point in time where Fernay went from being uh, kind of unheard to everyone knows who Fernay is. And, and that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking, we're, we can probably all think of those people who uh, kind of come out of nowhere, it seems like, you know, like we never knew, knew of them and suddenly, bam, you know, they're there and they're participating and they're in the, involved in the, the conversation and they're contributing. That's what we're looking for in the Rookie of the Year. And then content contribution of the year. This is this is this is for us old guys who've kind of been around for a while, uh, you know, um, and uh, continue to to put content into the uh, into the uh, community. Uh, continue to try to help people understand. Uh, so so we're trying to kind of cover all the bases uh, and ensure that uh, no matter where you're at in your career progression, that you're able to uh, to be recognized and that we're able to recognize those great people. And then, uh, and then we're carrying forward the Keith Parsons uh, Lifetime Achievement Award uh, into the program. And this is a program that, that this will, this is the only, in, in all of the awards that we mentioned, this is the only program that you guys will, will not have a direct uh, impact on. This is Keith's, this is Keith's baby because what Keith has done, uh, you know, over, over the last few years, both with this conference and, and with the award is something that uh, should be recognized and should be carried on. And uh, so, so we're absolutely keeping that alive. So uh, how does it work? Um, we have uh, um, a, a bit of a workflow showing up. Um, so we have a um, committee of uh, board members. So we have the community that we expect to uh, put forward uh, names and nominate um, people for all of these awards. We then have a committee. That initial committee is myself, JD, and Keith Parsons. Um, we will down select those people, and then we will give that back to the community for the community to vote on. So it really is um, awards by the community for the community. Um, and you know, to that end, uh, JD, myself, Keith, uh, because we are on that committee, um, we've uh, opted out of any award eligibility, um, essentially from this point forward. So, so, so the ugly guys on YouTube cannot be, yeah, can't, we, we can't, <laughs> no matter we, how good, we, yeah. <laughs> we'll not be um, able to. And so um, we expect to uh, we expect to do these annually, and ideally we'll be able to um, go through the year and uh, have this process uh, um, work out for the actual selection. And then annually we expect to be able to announce the awards at um, the WLC WLPC events uh, here in the states. So. Um, if you would like some more information, please visit the website, thewifiawards.com, including our history, um, how we sort of formed ourselves, um, and uh, who all the players are, and for more information about the awards. And of course, uh, follow us on Twitter. Thank you. I, I think this is, this is a great way to, to see that as a community, if you go back in history, um, 
there, there was a guy who came to America from France during the early, earliest years around the American Revolution. And he came and he saw that America was different than Europe. In Europe, they had guilds where you had to come in as an apprentice, and then you worked and you, went, you slaved away for years before you could make it part way up. And eventually, you became a guild member, and they were really tight and controlled. And he came to America, and what he saw was associations formed very quickly, and groups formed around what they were doing. Today, you can go to any state in the union, and there is an association of hairdressers, and they have got their own organization. They might even have their own magazines. They have uh, lobbied, the, so you have to have at least 2,000 hours. You have to have a test. I think we're a little more complex than hairdressing. Sorry for anyone who's a hairdresser. We need to grow up a little bit as an organization. We're engineers, and we're really pedantic. Yes. <laughs> and it makes it hard for us to get along and work together. So what I've tried to do in this last little session is talk about the groups that help the community as a whole, between the Wi-Fi Alliance and CBUNP and the WLA and this new awards committee allows us to kind of grow up and say, yeah, we're gonna take care of our own future. And so please, in any one of those organizations and or the Wi-Fi Awards, get involved. It's your community and you're building it around yourselves. So thank you very much. Thank you, Keith.